Christmas picture has been all jumbled up. See if you can work it out. You eat it at Christmas time. It tastes delicious. You could have it with a special sauce. Have you guessed? It's a Christmas pudding. Well done. There's a ball stuck up on the roof, but I just can't quite reach it. Oh, I know. I'll try using this. It's stuck. Oh, listen. It's the house. There must be a story to tell. Step inside all those who love stories. Look and listen with tales to tell of fun, excitement, magic, adventure. Tears, fears, and laughter. Surprises as well. Step inside. Twinkle, take hold of the bottom and lift. <laughs> oh no. Hello? <laughs> What's happened? We were trying to fold a sheet. But Chloe let go of her end. I'm sorry, Boris, but Mr. Mopple came in and... It's I... my fault. I am so sorry. Oh, don't you worry, dear. It usually takes us an hour or two to fold our washing. <coughs> Is that you under there, Twinkle? Oh, dear. What happened? It suddenly went dark. Are you all right? <laughs> oh, yes. I'm all right. Shall I help you fold the rest of your washing? <laughs> no, dear. We'll manage. You could read us a story, though, while we have a little rest. Yes, of course. I thought of one when I saw you trying to rescue that ball. Yes, I couldn't quite reach it. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, oh, I've got the story here somewhere. Oh, yes, here it is. Stand back, Mr. Mopple. Thank you, Boris. Oh, good. A story. So much nicer than folding the washing. <laughs> it's called all by myself. Every morning, Maya and her mother had breakfast together. Maya's mother would reach her long trunk high into the branches of a tall tree and pick the juiciest leaves for them to eat together. But one morning, Maya decided that things were going to be different. Just as her mother was about to pick some juicy green leaves, Maya said, No, I want to do it all by myself. Maya looked at the tree. It was very tall. The leaves seemed very far away. And she was just a little elephant. She thought for a bit. I know what to do, she said. She found a long, thin stick and stretching up as high as she could, she swished at the branches to try and knock the leaves down. But it was no good. The leaves didn't fall. 
a lion came to see what all the swishing was for. If you like, <laughs> he yawned, I could climb up the tree and pick some of those leaves for you. <laughs> no, thank you, said Maya politely. I want to do it all by myself. Then she had another idea. She ran down to the waterhole. She stretched out her trunk and sucked up as much water as she could. She pointed her trunk at the tree and blew. Whoosh! The water swooshed into the tree. The branches splashed and dripped. But it was no good. The leaves didn't fall. A bird came down to see what all the splashing was about. What do you think you're doing? She squawked, flapping the water off her wings. <laughs> oh, she got wet. <laughs> Maya explained it all. Is that it? Grumbled the bird. I will fly to the top of the tree and pick you some leaves. No, thank you, said Maya. I want to do it. All by myself. Maya stepped back three paces, took a deep breath and charged at the tree, pushing it as hard as she could. But it was no good. The leaves still didn't fall. My head hurts, said Maya sadly. I bet it did. Oof, very painful. Then a voice said gently, I have an idea. And with that, her mother lifted her high into the branches of the tall tree. Maya stretched out her trunk and picked all the juiciest and greenest leaves she could. You did it, said her mother. Maya thought for a moment. No, she said. We did it together. And together they strolled off across the plains as the sun rose high in the sky. Oh, her mother helped her in the end, didn't she? Yes, Twinkle. It's called teamwork. Working together. We work together too, don't we? Yes, dear. Like folding our washing. Which we still haven't finished. Thank you. Are you sure I can't help you with the rest of your washing? No, dear. We'll manage. We're a good team. You go and rescue that ball, Mr Mopple. If I might make a suggestion, Mr Mopple, what you need is a ladder. Quite right, Boris. I'll use a ladder. Well, goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, goodbye Mr, Mr Mopple. Mopple. Thank you for reading the story. Boris was right. I need a ladder. Easy peasy. I think this must belong to the children next door. I'll take it to them now and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Big Cook Little Cook will be here soon, but where's Chris got I to? I wish you a Merry Christmas. I wish you a Merry Christmas. I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. What are you wearing, Chris? I'm a Christmas tomato. Oh, well, you look very smart, but it's not very Christmassy. 
Oh, you're right. Hold on, I'll see what else I can find. Won't be long.